Recently, Roblox removed Arial and Gotham as supported fonts on Roblox, instead electing to replace them with Aramo, a popular alternative to Arial used on Linux systems, and Montserrat, which is not quite a replacement for Gotham, but it still has the same vibe. Now, lots of people have been quite mad about this, accusing Roblox of simply not wanting to pay some money for a font, or, you know, spitting in the face of their users. And personally, because I study typography as part of my design studies, I can tell you, these fonts are different fonts, right? They have different characters, and when I heard this information from Roblox's mouth, I was so... fine with it. Hello everyone, I'm Dan, and today we're talking about why you shouldn't care about this change. Firstly, let's talk about metrics compatibility. This is when two fonts have exactly the same layout characteristics, meaning if you have a paragraph of text in one font and you switch it to the other font, the layout will be identical. This is important for a few fonts, for example, fonts used on Linux for websites, because you don't want your website to look different on Linux than it does on Windows but you might not have access to all the same fonts that Windows does because it's a commercial product. So what will happen is the open source community will create their own versions of fonts that have the same layout data, but have different designs, meaning that while it's technically not the same font anymore, your website won't be broken because the layout is different. This is the case for Aramo and Arial. Aramo is actually explicitly an Arial replacement used on some Linux systems, so Linux users might already be familiar with the way that Aramo looks. It's available through Google Fonts as a free and open source font, meaning that anyone can use it. So when it comes to Roblox choosing Aramo as their replacement for Arial, it's perfectly understandable, and if anything, it should be perfectly transparent. Users will probably not notice the design difference, and it won't break any UIs, because they will be exactly the same size, exactly the same shape. So if you're complaining about Roblox removing Arial, you probably shouldn't be, because this is not going to break any UIs, it's hardly going to look that different, it is literally a compatible drop-in replacement. So what about Montserrat and Gotham? You know, Roblox wants you to use Montserrat instead of Gotham now. Are those metric compatible? Well, no, and there is a reason why. There was a metrics compatible Gotham dropping replacement that was totally free and open source and actually was slightly different to Gotham. It was called Metropolis. I've used Metropolis before. I have enjoyed and loved Metropolis before. It was a good font. Unfortunately, the type foundry behind Gotham didn't like it. In fact, they decided they didn't like it so much that they would take down the entire font and get it off of the internet. Basically, if you want Gotham, you need to get Gotham. So that kind of sucks from Roblox's end because as far as I know, there are no free and open source metrics compatible Gotham alternatives, at least none that have come across my radar, and definitely none that I know of on Google Fonts, which is the service that Roblox uses in order to serve fonts through the toolbox. So the closest you're going to get is probably going to be Montserrat, and that's from my knowledge of everything on Google Fonts. Montserrat is not that bad of a replacement. Sure, the metrics will be slightly different and the vibe might be slightly different. The spacing between characters might be adjusted a little bit. The thickness of the font strokes might be a bit different. Ultimately, however, it's probably the best you're going to get and it's probably the best that Roblox can do without using Gotham itself. So, okay, they're not metrics compatible and it's not going to be perfect, so why don't Roblox just keep on using Gotham if there is nothing better out there? Well, that's for reason number two, and that is font licensing. Let's talk about why fonts aren't free. You might be used to Microsoft Office coming with a dropdown with a bunch of fonts in them that you don't have to pay for, you just click on the font and it's in your document, you can print it off, you can hang it up in your school or your workplace or wherever you want, and it's totally fine, no lawyers are going to come breaking down your door at three in the morning demanding you pay for using Comic Sans on that important funeral notice. But that's not quite how it works for large online businesses. If a large online business would like to commit some typographic heresy, they have to license Comic Sans from the type foundry that owns Comic Sans. Yes, that's right, people own Comic Sans, and you can get charged for using it. These licenses are known as commercial use licenses, and they cover commercial usage, as you would imagine. Meanwhile, when you're using a font in Microsoft Office, that's not a commercial use license, that's a personal use license. That means that you yourself can use the font, but a corporation can't use it in order to represent any of their messaging or anything like that. 
So that brings us to talking about Ariel and Gotham. Ariel is owned by Monotype, and Gotham is owned by Heffler and Frere Jones. That means if Roblox want to use Ariel and Gotham in the Roblox engine, they have to have a commercial license. At Roblox's scale, it's probably going to be a special license agreement rather than anything standard, because Roblox is, you know, a platform with millions of kids on it that would be quite valuable to the type foundries. If Roblox have a relatively standard license with these type foundries, they could easily be paying in the millions per year just to license these two fonts, or maybe even just the one font alone. However, if they have a special license agreement, well, all bets are off. And that's where the prior art comes in. Do you remember Tommy Tallarico, whose mother is very proud of him, and the oof sound? That whole thing might just have happened again, but behind closed doors rather than out in public where people can have a shouting match on Twitter. You see, in the Tommy Tallarico case, whose mother is extremely proud of him, Roblox was asked to license the oof sound to Tommy Tallarico, whose mother is incessantly proud of him, for a very exorbitant fee. A fee that Roblox would have no reason to pay, to be clear. Now, regardless of whether this claim had any basis in law, which, uh, hint, Joey Curus probably owns the sound, not Tommy Tallarico, whose mother is universally proud of him, Roblox instead decided, we're not going to deal with all of that stuff, and we're just going to replace the oof sound with something that we definitely have the rights to, and we will just settle all this business, without admitting that we've actually done anything wrong. Which is pretty much the standard way these sort of things tend to go. So if you're wondering why you no longer oof when you die, but instead you just kind of exhale in a very vigorous way, that's why. To bring this whole thing back around to fonts, what the type foundries might have done with regards to Arial or Gotham or both, they might have seen that Roblox is quite a lucrative platform and realized, hey, if we have a special license agreement with them, we can change the terms and we can say, hey, accept these new terms and pay us way more money or stop using our fonts, which by the way, we see that you're using Gotham for all of your branding and everything. So, you know, it'd be a bit difficult for you to switch away. Enter Builder Sans, Roblox's new brand font that is not Gotham. Now, to be fair, I quite like Builder Sans, and Roblox's stipulations around only using Builder Sans on Roblox is totally fair and industry standard for any sort of corporate branding font, so I don't know why people are mad about that one. Basically, this means Roblox no longer has to use Gotham for their branding, which is fantastic, and it also means that Arial and Gotham can be replaced by other fonts. And in the case of Arial, it's metrics compatible, so it won't even break any UI, which means Roblox won't have to spend exorbitant amounts of money licensing fonts from people who maybe might be trying to overcharge them for it. But this is all speculation, we don't know for sure. Now again, I might have got this completely wrong, but I would not be surprised if this is exactly what happened. Either that or Roblox just really did not want to keep on paying for very expensive licenses for two fonts. I would not be surprised. But all of this in combination is why I think you shouldn't be complaining about this change and why I actually think, even as someone with typography experience, this is totally fine. Aromo is metrics compatible, so if you're using Arial in your UI, you monster, then your layout won't break at all. And if you're using Gotham in your UI, Montserrat is close enough anyway. And sure, your UI might look a little bit different, but if anything, it'll probably just be a little bit shorter because from my experience, Montserrat is a tiny bit more space efficient than Gotham is because Gotham has like massive tracking in its like character spacing, which I don't even know why. Like everyone complained when the website switched over to Gotham because all the titles got cut off. Like That's what happens when you have massive tracking. Anyway, I'm rambling. So that's my take. Let me know your take in the comments below. And if you're using Arial in your UI, please explain yourself. But that's about it from me. I've been Dan. I'll see you guys next time. Have fun.